the Commission is very pleased to participate in this uh, launching uh, uh, event of the Sphere Handbook on Humanitarian Charter and Minimum Standards in Humanitarian Response because it is an important moment in our constant endeavor to meet the needs of the victims. As important donors and humanitarian actors, we have the responsibility to ensure that aid delivered represents the best available option. And we are accountable to those in need in the countries facing a humanitarian crisis to ensure that the aid is suitably adapted to the circumstances and is provided in a way that enhances prospects for recovery. Critical in this context is ensuring the involvement of those assisted, transparency and communication. The EU consensus on humanitarian uh, aid recognizes explicitly the SPHERE project as having set out, in general and per sector, widely recognized minimum standards in disaster response. The Commission is pleased to have contributed financially with other donors to this revision exercise that you have now achieved with success. The success of the SPHERE handbook reflects the fact that SPHERE is responsive to the needs of people responding to disasters and is consist considered a relevant and lively uh, living document. It is the result of an extensive process of collaboration and consensus building. The Commission commends the revision process, which yet again organized a robust and widespread process of engagement among stakeholders and practitioners in each sector. There was a broad-based consultative process with the development of the handbook and through the peer consultation, uh, consultation groups involving NGOs, United Nations, agencies, host governments and donor governments. Importantly, this revision process placed greater emphasis on the role and participation of people affected by disaster. As key stakeholders and critical participants in the process, to reflect better their point of view in the revised handbook. The Commission will be inspired by the content of this new handbook in its financing decision and its in, in its evaluation and monitoring exercises. The Commission will foster within the EU the promotion of the different quality standards tools available. It is willing to discuss the way the revised handbook finally plays with the Interagency Standing Committee, UN Red Cross movement, the major NGO networks, and so on, and the way elements of the handbook are effectively incorporated into the clusters approach. I thank you for this, uh, for your attention.